Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is role in MySQL Server. Roles in MySQL Server really helps to group the permissions to single object uh, that we call it role. And then you can assign role to user instead of you create each user individually and then grant permissions. Uh, to think, so think about a scenario where you have users, uh, uh, maybe uh, developers, uh, you have tons of developers, like 50 developers. Each time a developer comes, uh, you create a user for him and then uh, you could uh, run all those permissions scripts uh, to provide those uh, permissions or whatever are required uh, for developer group. Uh, instead of doing that, uh, you can create a developer role and uh, assign all the permissions to it. And whenever somebody join it, just assign that role to that uh, new user. So in case uh, when you have to remove some permission, let's say that you have a provided insert permission uh, on a table uh, to these all groups uh, or all these uh, users. So if you want to remove them when you don't have the role, what you have to do, you have to remove from each of the user. But if you have a role, you simply have to remove the permission from one role. And the same way, if you need to provide permission on uh, uh, some objects, uh, you will provide the permission to single role and uh, you don't have to provide permission to 50 people. Um, that really helps uh, to manage the permissions and your users. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look uh, how we can create the roles, how we can, send, uh, we can assign uh, permissions to the role, how can um, uh, the role be assigned to the user, and uh, check the current uh, uh, role assignment to the user and uh, when then we will um, uh, set the scope uh, uh, of the user to the role because uh, you roles uh, uh, there could be multiple roles assigned to the user so think about that I'm a DBA I'm also working as a developer so when I'm working as a developer I can uh, set my role to the developer role and when I'm working as a DBA I can set my role to the DBA role so I can delete drop whatever I need to do I can do that so those uh, roles has to be created first um, then we will see if how to set the default role for uh, for the person or the user and then finally we will drop the role um, so let's go ahead and just start the demo first of all we will be creating our role so we will say create role let me go on the second line so in the middle create role and then role name in my case I'm going to call this one role underscore select so we will uh, what we will do we will provide only select permission uh, to this uh, role okay now the select role role underscore select is created uh, what we are going to do we are going to say grant uh, select let me show you databases so databases and here uh, I have database called tech Brothers IT new I want to provide select permission uh, uh, on tech Brothers IT new to the role select okay so how I will do that so I will say grant select on um, let me paste the database dot asterisk on all the tables to role so role underscore select the same way we do for users instead of user we will say role okay so you're not allowed to create user with the grant okay so what's the issue uh, select grant select on a uh, role uh, okay see this is a case sensitive so this s is capital that's why okay so we have to have small s here should be good now and uh, system clear all right so we have created the role we have assigned select permissions also I would like to do one thing uh, I would like to provide the show databases uh, uh, permissions to the role so I will say grant show databases on asterisk dot asterisk for all the databases uh, to role so role underscore select all right that permission is also provided now what we can do we can create a user so create user let's say we call this one tb at the rate localhost and uh, identified by password so my password dollar sign one two three okay so the user is created if we say show grants for user right now this user doesn't have any permission okay so you can see that no permission really provided is such as basic uh, uh, you know whatever the permission to create a user so uh, it has uh, no permissions what we are going to do we are going to assign that role to this uh, tb user okay so what we will do we'll say grant role underscore select to our user okay 
now the role is assigned if i will say show uh, grants for tb user again i should see some information okay so this role is assigned to low uh, tb local host so whatever the permissions are uh, uh, in the role select they will be provided to the tb select uh, tb user now let me exit from here and then come back as a tb user and see if we can uh, work with that so exit and uh, let me clear the screen say mysql dash utb dash p password so provide the password okay we are logged in now if we'll go and say show databases see we should have uh, those permissions right but uh, we it is showing us only one database uh, if I will try to select the data from TechBrows IT new, I will not be able to do it because if I will see right now, so if I will say select a current underscore role, so if I will run this statement, what's happening here? So I ran this statement and uh, I'm trying to see which role I'm using right now, okay, as TB user. So I am using none. So what we have to do here, we have to set a role for us so I'm gonna clear the screen okay so how you do that is set role and then provide the role name so here select so you log in as a as a user then you can choose what role you would like to use and uh, I will go back and we can assign a default role to any user as well so set role that's the user um, way if user knows uh, he has multiple roles and uh, then he can assign any role or switch between the roles uh, while he's working uh, on uh, MySQL server so set role role select once we do that now if we will say show databases uh, it should be just fine and we should see all the databases and here uh, that's the database we have permission if I will try to say uh, user test DB uh, let's see it's uh, giving me error because as uh, remember on on the role underscore select uh, we did only provide show databases and we only provide permission on tech browsers IT new database so, so that's the reason uh, it's shown as uh, error okay so use tech browser IT new we should be fine here show tables okay it should show us table select asterisk from manager we should be able to see the data so roles are a, a great way to uh, manage the permissions in groups and we can provide to any user right so this is great I would really want you guys to work on uh, creating roles instead of providing individual permission to users and save some time and on the user management so we are going to exit from here and next part what we are going to do here we are going to sign in back as a root to our MySQL server and here we are going to assign the default role to the uh, TB user so I will say set default role and uh, that will be role underscore select to TB localhost okay so let me see we made a mistake default role then role name probably okay so if you want to set uh, the default role for user you can do that so you will say set default role and the role name so here we have a role underscore select to and the new user okay that's all you will do and when next time a TB will come it doesn't have to select a role so we can create another role or maybe delete role or an insert role and provide all those permissions and we can assign that role to the TB localhost as well but when tb localhost will uh, log into new mysql uh, then it will uh, have a uh, role underscore select default so if i will exit from here come back as a mysql dash utb dash p provide the password okay so now if we say show databases uh, it should show us all the databases because the default uh, role is already assigned so if we will say show current underscore role 
it should show us. So we didn't uh, set the role for us. Uh, but if we want to set the role for us, we set role. Let's say if I would have another role called this update, uh, I could have set. And I can switch between the roles uh, when I'm working as a DBA or developer or user. So if there are multiple roles available for me, I can switch between them. And that's how my permission will change uh, according to the role what uh, uh, I'm switched to. So thanks very much for watching. I will put all these scripts uh, in the description so you guys can take from there. And I hope this video will help. Uh, thanks very much and I appreciate it.